Hello and welcome to another episode of Christine's Coloring and Crafts. I'm Christine and today we are going to talk about Prismacolor and a not so happy event that is occurring with them. Okay, so it has been noted if um, you are part of the communities any of the communities um, it has been uh, come to our attention basically that Prismacolor will be discontinuing two colors and I'm going to sharpen this one a little bit more or not there it goes and we'll sharpen this one but apparently due to lack of pigment, there'll be two colors that Prismacolor is going to be discontinuing. Um, and that will be PC956, which is lilac, and PC934, which is lavender. So, um, I found out through my good friend, my, my bestie, Christina, um, as she had asked me if I would check my local stores uh, for stock in these colors, I was able to find three lilacs, but no lavenders. Um, those are completely out. So that led me to do some digging through all of my pencils. Um, well, not all of them. I didn't go through the, uh, more oil-based leaning pencils. I went through what I believe to be or was actually advertised as, um, the wax-based pencils. And there were several sets that had plenty that matched or came close to the lilac, um, but not very many that came close to the lavender. In which you could see even in here, there's definitely some differences in the colors, um, but most of these are pretty close on. And here's the ones I found for the lilac as well. And I can list them in the description below after I upload the video. And I go to do my editing. Um, a lot of them are pretty close, but none of them are like completely so dead on that I could say, hey, this is the color to be. But anyway, uh, the Prismacolor is the top. And then we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven potential um, copies or dupes, as you might want to call them. And I figured we'd do a little bit of coloring on one of the flowers here. This is out of 50 Summer or 50 Spring Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. And I figured we'd do a little flower together. Um, we won't have a third color, so there won't be any like really, you know, big time shading or anything like that. And we're going to actually start with the Prisma colors. I'll come in later when I want to finish the page in the spring and um, bring in some other colors and whatnot for shading. But here's the Prismacolor Lavender. And we'll just color a little flower together to see how close or how off it is. And these colors normally don't really go together very well, but we're going to make them go together today. And of course, too, not all of the pencils I chose will be as buttery soft or as smooth on this cheap Amazon paper, the Create Space paper, I guess as they call it. But we will do our best here. And as you can tell, a lot of my pencils are well used, too. I try to give love to all of my sets. I think the Irigy Tens are the only ones that I haven't really used a lot of. Um, but like the Castle Arts, there's a couple of those that are still got a lot of left on them. But anyway, I figured we'd do this video today to kind of prepare ourselves for the future as we know 
that many in the coloring community are well aware that these colors are being discontinued and people are, are going to buy up all the stock. I was actually surprised that I found any at Michael's. I found none at, at Hobby Lobby. And I went somewhere else too. I can't remember where it was. I want to say Joann's, but I don't think that was where I went. They carried open stock pencils. Now, I could go check Blick up in Columbus, but I don't want to take a chance on something. To not be there in Columbus is about an hour, hour and a half, depending on traffic, to get up there. So, that and I don't have a, a crap ton of money right now. But we'll put a couple layers on and then use my little Prismacolor blending pencil here. And like I said, it won't look... This one's a crumbly pencil, by the way. <laughs> I don't think it was put together very well. But like I said, you know, we're not looking for making depth and dimension, creating a pretty picture at this point in time. We're just seeing how well these colors line up together. There we go. What a crumbly little pencil. Take me a drink here. And there we have the Prisma colors. All right, let's look at the Castle Arts Soft Touch. We're gonna want lavender. That's a gold. Lavender and lavender light. Here's lavender light. And here's lavender. I think they're both funny that they have similar names but are like almost completely different colors. <laughs> lavender and lavender light. All right, let's give them good sharpen. I honestly thought these were the closest with the Eroji Eroji tens. Excuse me, not that far behind. And man, I did a terrible job because it's so crumbly. I can't see. But I did a terrible job getting these blended in together. There we go. All right, let's get over here. We're going to start with the Lavender Light. And we're going to do this one. And I was just going to do just this real quick and, and show each pencil. But I thought it would probably be better just to color something. And it's okay if it doesn't look exact. Because I'm only putting on a couple layers and then kind of like smushing it around a little bit. To fill in the this white of the paper. But yeah, that lavender light is like super close to the uh, the lavender. Yeah. In fact, I'm even going to carry it over a little bit. And then we'll go over here to the regular lavender. In which I tried to pick just sets that other people may have already. Um, I know the Castle Arts Soft Touch is not necessarily sets people have. They usually have the gold. Um, but if you have the Castle Arts Soft Touch set, I really think you can't go wrong with a good replacement for your Prisma colors by using these two out of the soft touch set. Plus they feel almost just as smooth as the Prisma colors on this paper. Like I said, I don't think this flower is going to turn out really, really, really super pretty because we aren't using lots and lots and lots of colors uh, to create depth and dimension. But, you know, that'll come at a later date. That's why I'm not pushing real hard. I'm using kind of a, a light pressure, but not super light. But 
but it's also not so hard that you can't put some other colors down on top of it later to bring it all together. And I figure on a flower, it'll be really nice because, you know, with the colors not all being a perfect dupe of the Prismacolors, It'll just look like the, the light is reflecting on the flower differently. And I don't know if we're going to have enough petals <laughs> for all these. And it's okay if we don't. We'll start on another flower. And then just kind of smush it in there. And this can obviously take more layers. And I'm trying not to press. I'm like trying to go like super duper light with the pressure on this pencil since it is really crumbly. You can tell it's just definitely not a well-made blender pencil. But those two look really, really good, especially in person. I don't know how they look on video, but they look really, really good in person. All right, and then let's go with the Castle Arts Gold, which will be the Cobalt Purple for the Lavender. And it will be Violet Deep for the Lilac. And you can tell that these are going to be, or at least this one's going to be a little bit darker. Give them a good old sharpen. And I'll tell you what, this sharpener, this jar link, lasts for freaking ever on a charge. Or close enough to forever. Alright, let's do this one here. Now I know that this cobalt purple is going to be quite a bit deeper so we're going to go in lightly and you can always too since Prismacolor white will be in abundance for the time being you can you can never 100% count on anything you never know I would assume that Prismacolor white would be in abundance for forever but you know all right, and then let's go ahead and go in here with the Violet Deep, which I think is a lot closer on to the the lilac than the cobalt purple is to the lavender. It's still not bad. It's not a bad dupe at all. And like I said, there's lots of other sets that have really awesome lilac dupes. They just did not have a coordinating lavender dupe. Or a replacement, or whatever you want to call it. And if you want to see those, let me know in the comments below. I can go back through my pencil sets and get the ones that look like lilac out. There just really was not a very good lavender. And these two colors are actually turning out not to look too bad together. I didn't think they'd go together at all, but they're kind of springy. And then I think what I'll go ahead and do after I use the blender pencil is see how white works on that cobalt purple. There we go. And that is slightly darker on the Violet Deep, too. But it's not too bad. I really think the Castle Arts, both sets, they came the closest to having good replacement colors. And they also, they blend well with Prismacolors. Even though the golds are technically advertised as oil-based, they feel more like wax-based pencils to me. All right, let's take that white over it and see what happens. I 
think it lightens it up pretty good. And I'm not pressing very hard. Just kind of bringing it all together with another layer because I will want to come again and finish this page eventually. I'm creating a whip. There we go. And it's not that much extra effort to make it look like the Prismacolors colors. It's not that much effort. I think it's looking good. All right, our next set will be, let me put the Castle Arts up here. Our next sets will be the Black Widow, Widows, Widows, Black Widows, uh, Scorpion, which will be the Scorpion set. So it's SCO2. And I accidentally, okay, and Pastel Purple, there we go. And then the Lilac will be uh, the Black Widow and BW08 and Amethyst. And these are well-loved pencils. <laughs> I do use these uh, from time to time. Okay. I mean, that pastel purple. Oh, I grabbed purple haze. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me go get pastel purple. <laughs> I was wondering why it looks so funny. There it is. <laughs> I was wondering why that one looks so funny. <laughs> okay, now this one's pastel purple. <laughs> All right, let's do this one in the Black Widows. I think this is another good set for this kind of paper, as long as you have some patience. They are a little bit more work. I think I accidentally did the stamen. There we go. I'm trying to get in between them. There it is. And folks, I wear glasses. <laughs> there we go. Now these, I think, are a little bit on the light side to be Prismacolor replacements or dupes or whatever you want to call them. And you could probably darken things up uh, just by adding more layers. There we go. And one of the things I love about picking pages from uh, Camellia Angel Cova's books is they're just, they're simple. It's nothing too complex, nothing super hard. You don't have to worry about too many super tiny details or getting real intricate. It's just nice, simple, relaxing coloring. That's why I love her books. Honestly, a, a lot of the books that I have that do have intricate designs in them. I love them, but I know it also takes time to do them right. And so I know I'm going to be super slow with them. And I don't have to be super slow with this. I don't have to be super fast. I don't have to be super slow. I don't have to do a lot of thinking. Um, I've tried color by numbers and they're okay. I like them all right, especially when I'm coloring while taking calls. But those are almost too simple. I like being able to pick out the colors I want to use. And some of them use some funky town colors. Here we go. Let's go ahead and give this a sharpen. Because it's crumbled so much already. And as you can tell, the pastel purple is quite a bit lighter. Let me go back over here on this spot again. There we go. And 
and then we'll do a little experiment here after I finish this part. Because I don't want to add too many layers because I want to be able to add some extra colors for that depth and dimension I was talking about. All right, now let's take the Prisma colors and they're going to go right on top of the Black Widows. And they're doing it beautifully. And it looks almost the same. Like I said, the lavender is just slightly darker in the Prisma color than it is in the Black Widow set. And look at that, it goes right on top of it without even batting an eyelash and adds a little bit more color. See, that doesn't look bad at all. All right, let's take this one here, put my Black Widows to the side and get out the next set. Looks like we're going to be looking at the Arctics. Now these were the really challenging ones because I believe these to be not sharpened enough, so hold on a sec. <laughs> the closest thing to Prismacolors that we can get on the market and that they named them the same colors. Um isn't lost on me. Not all the colors are named the same, but they got a lot of similar colors to the color Pris Prismacolor names. So that definitely wasn't lost on me. But the lilac will be um, AT4154 and the lavender is the AT4140. I don't know if it's in the 72 set, either of these. I do know that they were in the 124, 126 set, the odd numbered set <laughs> that we got. <laughs> All right, let's start whoop, with the lavender. I think it's funny that the names are similar, but the colors of the pencil are definitely different. I mean, here's the Prismacolor lavender, and here's the Arctic's lavender. So why can't Prismacolor make lavender, I want to know. I mean, they're not exactly the same as you can see in color, but they're pretty close enough. So maybe that's what Prismacolor might plan to do. I don't know. I don't talk to them. <laughs> I'm not a content creator like that. I don't, I don't get the privilege of talking to the companies, <laughs> which is fine. I'm not complaining. There's plenty of artists and colorists and crafty people that do get to talk to them so it's always fun watching their videos when they have talked to a company about their product I think it's pretty cool would I like to be able to talk to a company about their product sure especially Arctix I want to know what their secret is here I mean, the color is slightly different. You could definitely see a difference here. That's why I'm glad we saved this for next to the Prisma color. And I do like the way they lay down. They're very soft or very similar feeling, at least to me, they are to uh, Prisma colors in these Amazon printed books. I think the lavender could use just a slight bit more amount of pink in it. I think the lil lilac is pretty spot on. Um, but, you know, everybody has their differences. I'll go ahead and put in some more on here. I mean, it's just like, maybe not as pink. Like the other ones have a really good pink tone to them. 
and this one just has more of a muted purple tone. Which I think makes it look good look better with the lilac and like I said these are just some options that I put together um, probably took me about an hour to put them together thankfully since I have swatch charts and stuff like that so I just go through and I'm gonna go ahead and mix these up a little bit more Get some more of that white of the paper out of there. There we go. And then we can see that the pencil's crumbling a little bit again. That's okay. It still works. It'll just get used up a little bit faster than the other ones. I bought them 12 pack at a time. Where is my brush. Did that thing fall on the floor? It probably did. Either that or I put it somewhere and I don't know where. There it is. <laughs> okay. But there's the first flower. And as you can see, for the most part, the colors are pretty spot on. Pretty, pretty really close. Um, with the exception of the Arctic's uh, lavender. It's, it's definitely a more muted tone. And then, let's see here, Prismacolor castle arts and castle arts gold had a slightly darker pinky color that I think came out pretty good with the prismacolor white added to it all right let's start on another flower here these guys are starting to get bunched up I'm gonna put it behind me <laughs> there we go they're just all ganging up on each other here. All right, the next set I believe would be the Arteza. Yep, these are the Arteza Experts. And then Lavender for Lilac. And Lilac for Lavender. <laughs> Where's that Lilac at? There it is. I think it's funny that Arteza is backwards from Prismacolor. I also like using Artezas in these books. In fact, I think the only pencil I really don't like using in these books will be the, the Irgitans. And it's not that they're bad. It just it isn't great. The Black Widows would be the next least favorite because you gotta work, I feel like you gotta work with them a little bit more to get them to go on the page nicely. Although they went on this page pretty darn nicely, I gotta say, with only two layers. And then another thing I'll do is I'll just put this page in there when I put the book up so I know what brands I used and what colors and I'll just keep rotating them but I'll find either Prismacolor or an Arteza or a Castle Arts that I like to use for my third and maybe even a fourth and fifth color. Sometimes I like to use lots of colors. Not a lot. I, I usually stick to three or four but once in a while I get a wild hair and add five or six colors to really make the page pretty and pretty is in the eye of a beholder so you use however many colors you want to use to make your page pretty and really like with that one I probably will go back over it with the Prismacolor to brighten it up a little bit But if I used it by itself, I probably wouldn't even notice the difference if I wasn't doing all these different sets. And as you could tell on the Artezas, the lavender, that's the lilac dupe, <laughs> is a little bit darker 
um, the lilac that is the lavender dupe is pretty spawn, I think. I might even try to finish this page because I'm really starting to like it. <laughs> even though I have a page going on in the other book that I have, I got for Christmas. Oh man. And another good rule of thumb is not to drop your pencils. Oh, I have a tendency to do that. <laughs> Let me pick this guy up. There we go. <laughs> Pop my back while I'm at it. I don't know if any of y'all heard that, but I did. <laughs> Felt it too. All right. And most of the time I have this handy dandy hand grabber to pick it up. Uh, but it got stuck to something metal when I went to pick it up just now. <laughs> I don't know what it's sticking to down there, but okie dokie. <laughs> All right. The next set will be the Eerogy Tins. And we're going to do Lilac for the Lavender. And then we're going to do uh, Crocus for the Lilac. Honestly, I don't even know if I've ever used these pencils on uh, Amazon paper. We're going to we're going to see. <laughs> we'll do this one right here. And it is super light. It did not look that light on that paper. So this might not be a good set. Most people don't have the Eero G10s that I'm aware of. They do feel good on the paper. It's just coming down super, super light. We'll see what happens on the next layer. I don't know if they're advertised as oil-based or wax base either. I don't know a lot about these pencils other than that they were really pretty. And they may not be good for this paper. <laughs> All right, let's try again here. Go back to the lilac. Maybe it is more of an oil base and you just gotta build the layers. So far I can say I don't really care for it. Now the crocus I'm okay with. I think the second layer is definitely making it come out and shine a little bit better. It could still be a little bit darker. These are, quit trying to run away. These are definitely different can say I don't like them on this paper. They definitely came out darker on the Nina paper than they are on this paper. So I'm going to say these are a note for Amazon books as far as making it when you're trying to look for something to replace your Prismacolor colors with. So, okay, yeah, that's a, that's a no. That's too light. Let's get those Prisma colors out and go over it. There we go. They won't look exact because they're mixing with the Euro G10s, but that's okay. And again, I don't want to put too many layers on because then I might not be able to get those extra colors in. So just put a nice little light Prismacolor layer in there and mix it up. It even changes the Prismacolors. Look at the difference between this Prismacolor and that Prismacolor. <laughs> and I might be able to fit another layer or two on there after I add the extra colors. 
when I come back to finish the page. If not, I bet the page will still turn out just fine. There we go. Put a little bit more lavender in there. Just a little bit. But yeah, it's not even really darkening it up that much. Which, that's okay. This is the learning curve. That's why I kind of wanted to go ahead and test the pencils in an Amazon printed book. Um, a lot of us have those types of books. And we might go through and do some other types of paper books another time. Not this episode, though. <laughs> All right. Last set will was a, kind of a surprise. I got him. I, I was like, there has to be somebody that can closely match the Prisma colors in the color set. I mean, there's 240 colors for crying out loud. They're not like the best pencils on earth, as you can see from the way they're sharpening. That you know, they're not like stellar pencils but they're good budget pencils and the lavender dupe was fluorescent purple for 239 and the lilac was light purple for 152 now I know that the light purple is also pretty light um, but it was really about the closest I could get with the lilac and we'll go ahead and put it over here next to the Eerie 10 ones that way, it'll kind of they'll kind of go together. Kind of wish I'd pick something without stuff in the way, but that's okay. Yeah, this is pretty light, like the. Air Jaten light, lighter color, the crocus. They still are going down nicely on the paper. They're not terrible. I think all it's going to need is just a few layers. Some extra layering. This one's like spot on. A fluorescent purple. Is is spot on to the lavender. <laughs> that to me is just hilarious. There we go. And I probably could look through the set again and maybe find a darker one to dupe the lilac with. I might continue this. The search for Prismacolor replacements. Because, yeah, I could definitely stand to be darker. And at some point, it's going to quit taking layers. So, we're going to go ahead and go right over it with Prismacolor 1. And then just blend it into the fluorescent purple of the color set. And I know I'm probably not saying every name set's name correctly. I know I'm not. That's okay. But this will also teach us. Doing it this way will teach us how well they'll blend into each other, too. Which I think they're going to do beautifully together. And also, too, if you have multiples of these sets, you know, if you have, like, the Castle Arts and the Calor and the Ergy 10, or you have the Arteza and the Artex, you know, you could pick and choose, and that's why I think... I'll leave it up to you guys, but that's why I think we should do, like, all the lilac dupes that I've found 
even though I haven't found that many for lavender. But I would say the best ones for lavender, let's see here, this is Prismacolor, and then we have Kessel Art Soft Touch, so that's really, really awesome. I like the way that came out. Um, the Kessel Arts Gold was pretty good. I'd say it was a good... So we'll put Castle Arts Soft Touch as number one. We'll put Castle Arts Gold as number three. Um, I really think Black Widow is number two. And then the Arctics. At least the, the, the Lilac Dupe was really, really good. The Lavender could use some work. Um, it'll do in a pinch. And then we have the Arteza. So we'll do Castle Arts number one, Black Widow number two. Let's do Arteza Expert number three, and then Castle Arts. Er. <laughs> Let's get a pen. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> All right, let me get my pen here. So we'll do Castle Art Soft Touch as number one, the one in my opinion that I think is the best uh, combo, and this is what I'm considering as combos. And then actually, let's do the Arteza as number two because those are super close too, and they're super close for different reasons. Like the Castle Arts, its Lavender Dupe is better than its Lilac Dupe. And the Artezas, Artezas, its Lilac Dupe is better than its Lavender Dupe. But it's really, they're really super, super close. And then we will do Black Widow as number third best. And remember, this is just all my opinion. <laughs> So here we go, good. Prisma color, Castle Arts, and then we'll do Castle Arts Gold as the fourth best. And then we'll do, even though it's Lavender Dupe is really kind of a very muted color, that's going to be what I call number five. And then Colors can be number six. And the Inner Jutens are number seven. I just really did not like how they came came out on the paper. I mean, you can even tell here they're slightly lighter, but they didn't look that light like they did on, on this Amazon paper. So they're definitely more muted. But I didn't think they were that bad. Until I put them on the Create Space paper. <laughs> Not a bad. So there we go. That'll be what's in my opinion. So Castle Arts Soft Touch. If you have those, they're going to be my number one recommended. Um, if you have the Arteza Expert, that's going to be my number two recommended. Um, dupes for the Prismacolors. Lilac and Lavender. And then uh, number three will be the Black Widow sets. Uh, both Black Widow and Scorpion. And then number four be Castle Arts Gold. And remember, they are um, advertised as an oil-based pencil. But they really, f especially on this, this smooth Amazon paper, they really feel like they are wax-based. But anyway, and then number five will do the Arctics, which I was kind of surprised at because... You know, they basically had the same names. So I was kind of expecting them to be really the same colors. And while the lilac was, I don't really think the lavender was. I think the lilac was a lot closer than the lavender. But anyway, and then um, number six will be the color set with the light purple and the fluorescent purple. And then number seven, which I don't recommend at all, will be the Irigitins. So, um, like I said, I will leave the list of the colors and their numbers. It looks like they all have numbers. Listed below 
for who I believe is a good dupe or replacement for the Prismacolors. And uh, that's if, you know, if if you even really like these colors. So this is, this is mostly for people who really like these colors, who know they're going to be using these colors quite often. Um, and you're probably going to run out as the stock runs out. Um, it is what it is, you know, from time to time. I i don't fault Prismacolor at all. Hey, you know, stuff happens. And aren't you guys proud of me? I actually use my Premieres and not my Sanfords. My Sanfords I'm trying to save for a rainy day. <laughs> um, and use up my Premieres. But anyway, um... I imagine as the open stock runs out, people will buy up the sets that contain both the lilac and the lavender and then just have extras of the others because Prismacolor is one of the most popular brands of pencils, so nobody's going to cry if they actually have to buy a set instead of the open stock. Um, but they are going to eventually run out. I don't know what they're going to replace them with or how they're going to, you know, remake the colors or even if they're going to try to be similar colors or anything like that so we'll find out as time goes on I just figured I would do this video here to help everyone out um, if you can't find the open stock and you you know maybe can't afford the sets because you've already got other sets of pencils and stuff and um, I definitely understand what it's like not to have enough money to, to go running out and buying full size sets right now, um, or even open stock. The only reason I had bought some open stock was for my friend because she had asked for them. I just had only found lilacs and not lavenders, but in case she wants them, the lilacs are here. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If you have some of those other sets, then you know you can feel comfortable in knowing that you'll have colors that are at least pretty similar, if not some dead on. So you could, if you have multiples of all these, if you have all of these sets, or you know, minus the Irigitin, because I definitely don't recommend those um, in, on this Amazon paper. If you have the other sets, though, um, at least you know you have some colors that you can combine with your Prisma colors. Um, all of these guys here, like I said, except for the Eerogy 10s. Let's go ahead and put these to the side. <laughs> all of these guys here, I would definitely recommend using. They're, they're going to be good enough. So, I hope you found this video educational and informational. Um, questions, comments, suggestions below. Like, if you want to see the other lilac uh, colors that are similar and what we can mix them with. Um, I'll keep going through my sets and seeing if there's anything I could come up with that's close. Definitely not the Karen Dash Luminance. I did go through those. They are very purple light. They don't have a lot of purples. So... We'll have to make our own purples. Maybe if you have um, some of these other sets, maybe I can, what I can do is um, see about mixing colors and see if we can't come up with some of colors too. Just stuff to kind of hold us off while we wait for Prismacolor to um, change whatever colors they're going to get. We'll see what they come up with. I'm kind of excited and nervous at the same time about what they're going to come up with. Anyway, I hope everyone has a colorific rest of their day and week and take care of yourselves and happy coloring bye